Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. In today's video, we're going to do all the things to prepare this refrigerator to be sold. I've been waiting for months for my new refrigerator to be delivered, and supposedly it should be here in the next week or two. This refrigerator has been good, but the ice maker has been an issue since year three of owning it. We've had it replaced a couple of times, but as soon as the warranty runs out, we're back to the ice being slushy and dripping out of the dispenser and onto the floor. With further research, we found out that this is a big issue with this refrigerator, and owners are banding together to file one large lawsuit against Samsung. However, so far this has taken years, and in the meantime, I need ice. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this cleaned up and ready for its new owner. I'm taking a chance with my new refrigerator because I went bold. I chose one that isn't stainless steel. I chose the Cafe 4-door refrigerator in matte white with gold hardware. I see others mixing metals in their kitchen, and I think I can make it work, especially if I change out the cabinet hardware to gold. Regardless, the refrigerator's paid for, and it's a welcome addition into our home. But eek, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm using thieves and a microfiber cloth to clean the shelves. You got me like I will miss this extra door here. It was the feature that convinced us to buy this refrigerator in the first place. I bought some new acrylic containers for my refrigerator. I got these ones from Home Goods, but I vow to never buy acrylic from Home Goods or TJ Maxx again. The stickers are impossible to get completely off, and if you do get it off, you run the risk of having scratches from scraping the sticker off from the acrylic. I will link in my description box other acrylic containers that are similar to this, but don't have the issue of the stickers. I also know that Costco sells a box with assorted sizes. Have you tried these organic hard-boiled eggs from Costco? Usually I use my Instapot to make a slew of hard-boiled eggs, but this is oh so convenient. I just open the tray, add a little salt and pepper, and off I go. You can also chop some up to go into your salad, or you can mix it with some dressing to make an egg salad sandwich. I also give a pack to my pregnant daughter in the morning when she drops off my grandson. I've had these containers for a while now, they're the Rubbermaid Freshworks Produce Food Saver containers. They have the crisp tray, which helps keep moisture away from the produce. And the fresh vent system regulates the flow of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Also, the vent filter never needs to be replaced. They're completely dishwasher safe and PBA free. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I have two of these larger containers that I bought off Amazon. I like these for my longer produce like asparagus, but today I'm going to put this larger bag of broccoli into it. I find that if I unbag my produce into these containers that I'll snack on it throughout the day. And it's easier to store these containers rather than all those assorted bags. Lovely. 
Okay, I'm going to put all these things back into the doors and then we'll put the containers into the refrigerator. But I'm going to warn you that there's a moment here where I have to shove everything back into the refrigerator because I realize that I've forgotten an appointment I have. Thankfully, everything is in the containers and it'll be easy to get back out for part two of filming. Don't want to be shy. As you can tell, the door is super annoying. Eventually, I do rig up a system to tie the door open. Hopefully, the new refrigerator does not have this issue. I don't know if you're picky about this, but I am. I like to have all my labels facing out. So here, it looks like I'm throwing these bottles in, but actually, we get the creamers out from the other side of the door. So I have all the labels facing that way. You'll see in the condiments, I do the same thing but I also face some forward for this side of the door. Don't ask me why I'm like this. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go This is about the time that I'm reminded of the appointment I have. Worse than that, the appointment was happening at my house. My counters were a wreck. There were toys all around because my grandson was busy playing with all his trucks. But thankfully, I filmed the first part of this video right after I filmed Thursday's clean with me. You may notice that I'm in the same clothes. But thankfully, the rest of my house is clean and ready for company. Maybe we could try, try to figure out a way to put our past aside. I've realized Okay, so here's take two. This is several days later. We're gonna go ahead and start in this drawer. This drawer is set up for my grandkids. When they are here, they have free reign to all the things in this drawer. So none of this stuff lasts long. When I knew that I was selling the refrigerator, I didn't keep up with keeping the drawer tidy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get things cleaned up. I'm gonna unbag the snacks and I'm gonna get this drawer put back together for my little loves. Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go 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 I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Don't work out the way I thought they would 
And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Okay, so here's a shot of before. That way we can better enjoy the after. Now everything is in its place and the grandbabies can reach in and grab their favorite snacks. You've seen in my other videos that I also have a snack drawer that holds all their prepackaged snacks. Needless to say, these grandbabies love to come visit their grandma's house. With you. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would. And before you there was no one who understood. Sometimes. All right, now I'm going to take everything on the shelves back out. I skipped some grungy areas and now I have time to get it done. I know that most of you get a lot of motivation from seeing really dirty areas get cleaned. So here we go. But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I, I can't see you. In this part of the video, I'm going to be using my Bissell Steam Shot. I love this powerful tool. It comes with all these accessories for different jobs around the house. So far, you've seen me use it to steam my granite countertops, and I've cleaned out my window seals and the tracks of my large slider with it. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up and give it a couple of minutes to heat the water. I wish that I could get this glass out of here so that I can get all that yuck but it's impossible, so I'm gonna to need to get creative. My plan was to try the steam shot to see if I can blast it out from underneath there. But as I'm doing this, I'm remembering about a refrigerator that I cleaned the glass shelf and I stuck the shelf in hot water. Uh, that was super dumb. For obvious reasons, that piece of glass shattered. Well, the steam shot is pretty hot, so I don't think this is what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to plan B. Getting dizzy now from the way you bummed me out. I know that you wanted me to be someone I'm not. Give you all my love and never mess it up. But I won't be pretending that I have some hidden love for you, baby. I'm done, I'm just done because I'm way too passive aggressive for you. This is a very tight fit, so I'm being very careful. But look at the gunk that I'm getting out from underneath this. It's completely disgusting. I'll never feel like you do, babe. Even if I try to, ooh. even if I try to, ooh, ooh. even if I try to, ooh. I'll never feel like you do. Yeah. I know you think we're good together. Every time I see your happy face, I want to tell you to. Just leave me alone ooh, ooh, ooh. Take a hint, don't be so selfish I'm trying to make it easy, point you in the right direction, yeah 
You would think as a hairstylist that I would have mastered the spray nozzle. Take a look at this huge mess I made. I slow it down so you can get a good look at it. What the heck? By the way, it does happen to a stylist too. It's just a little less embarrassing when you're here in your home. Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you I'm refilling the container with that second bag of carrots We eat a lot of carrots throughout the day I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark I have a favorite spot for my garlic. When I cook, this is where I want to reach to find my garlic every time. Are you like that? Do you have certain spots in your refrigerator that is designated for certain things? Another time, another place, I just know. Mm -hmm. It could have been you. What a crime and what a shame to let go. Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you should have been you Another time, another place, I just know I think everything turned out great, and now it'll be easy for me to remove the containers to refill the new refrigerator. Of course, I will share that process with you. So now I'm going to quickly clean the outside of this refrigerator. There's some spots that really need some special attention. I'm going to try to use the steam shot to see if I can get this hard water buildup off here. Much of this is because of the dripping ice maker, but we've since disabled it. I've used other things to try to remove this, so let's see how the steam shot handles this. Show it to you. It will ricochet. I will let I'm using the concentrator tip and scratching some of this off, but I decide I should just go ahead and move on to the scrubbing tip, and we'll see how that works. 
Sure enough, it's chipping some of it off. It's not going to be back to new, but it's going to be so much better. I leave this little cloth here to absorb any drips. Now I'm going to shine up the stainless steel. As I told you in the past, I use a wet microfiber cloth along with the E-Cloth shining cloth. It is very rare that I use stainless steel polish because I really don't like the buildup that it leaves on the stainless steel. That buildup actually makes it easier to get dirty and it's easier to see fingerprints. I started using the E-Cloth method about a year ago and it's taken a quite a few times to get the stainless steel cleaner oils removed but now I notice a huge difference. I used to let it in all the things you said. You try to turn me in. Well, friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please give me a big thumbs up? It lets YouTube know that you think that I'm doing a good job. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. Today, I'm heading over to my daughter's house to help her purge and reorganize her pantry. She is a family of five and needs more room than she has, but we're going to be creative and find a way to make it work. I'm hoping to have that video ready for you next Sunday. You won't want to miss it, so click the notification bell. If you haven't yet, head on over to my Instagram and follow me. It's easier to get to know each other there. And during the week, I try to post time-lapse cleaning motivation. At the end of this video, I will link the playlist to all my decluttering organizing videos that we've done either in my home or one of my daughter's home. And also, check the description box for all the links of the products that I've used in this video. If you see something that I haven't gotten linked, just leave me a comment and I will try to find a link for you. I'll see you again next Thursday for a new Clean With Me video. Until then, stay blessed my friends.